Hi guys, Monica here. So it has been decided to show um, my makeup collection. I put a post on Instagram asking you guys um, what you guys would like to see, if you had any ideas, um, if you'd like to see my makeup collection or my jewelry collection. So the votes are in and it is jewelry. Uh, jewelry. It is makeup. I'm probably still going to do the jewelry just for anybody who doesn't have an Instagram and kind of missed it. But yeah, so I have to give you fair warning. I do not have like a big elaborate makeup setup like most of these gurus you see on YouTube, but I will show you what I have. So if you want to see it, then keep watching. Okay, so here at my vanity, which is not really anything really awesome, but anyways, here at my little vanity, I'll take you in closer, I have a big pile of books. You're probably wondering why do you have all these books? Because when I do record, I set my camera on top of those and because I have good lighting here. So anyways, behind that I have this little bitty uh, mirror that I have a cord to that lights up. I do not ever use the cord. It's just it's kind of pointless to be honest with you. Um, but I use that um, to get ready every single time I apply makeup. And then I have some little uh, bows that I have made <laughs> myself and I just kind of keep them there. And then below it here, I have my little uh, mason jar that I paint it, and I keep my face uh, brushes in that. I have this little chicky right here that my sister gave me back when I moved out uh, when I was about 10. Um, and I've had it ever since, and I just, I don't know, I really like it just because, I don't know, she's always having a bad hair day. I am, and my sister gave it to me. And then right here, I have a flattened bottle. Um, I like to keep all of my little uh, makeup pushes. I guess that's what you call them. Makeup push, makeup sponge, something. Anyway, so I just keep my little pushes, pushes, sponges, whatever you want to call them, uh, right there because that works out great for that. Um, and then over here to the left, I have all of the foundations. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I'm almost out of the CoverGirl, and as you guys know, the Fit Me Maybelline is a little too light. That is a pan stick, as you can tell, Riley's been in here playing with it, um, that I wear sometimes during the summer when I'm in a hurry, or now I'm kind of using it to contour the really bad buy of, Revl of Revlon, the, oh, I can't even talk, Revlon brush effect, and then the current that I'm using now, which is the Aqua uh, smoothers. And then I have another mason jar which has my eye um, makeup brushes in it. Some Kleenex because you never know. And then that's just a little box that has um, some old flowers in it that Dale gave me and little notes and stuff. Now, going right below that in this drawer. Da -da -da. Totally excuse those clothes right there. <laughs> I'm not a professional. Anyway, so in this drawer I have little ins and odds of like makeup related stuff like back when I used to get like Avon and Mary Kay and stuff um, I was given all these little lipsticks and stuff so I have those in a little bag there and then I have my extra eyelash curler uh, rubber pieces in this little bag a pencil sharpener and then I got these a while back when I was having a real bad hard time with my eyebrows um, these eyebrow stencils I don't use those Riley's in here too. Uh, a powder from CoverGirl, a BB cream, or eyelash curler, um, a thing that I, like I never used. <laughs> I don't know why I buy these. Measuring tape, uh, primer, an eyelash curler that the back is off of. It's somewhere in the store because Riley keeps playing with it. But you heat it up. Um, iPhone 4 case. Um, yeah, that's something personal. Okay, so anyways, and then in this drawer, which is very day messy, I have, um, curling iron, curlers, straighteners, which I never use anymore. Um, this massager thing that Dale got me? I don't know. And then there's the plug that goes to my Conair, um, uh, mirror up there. I cannot even shut the stuff, y'all. I'll tell you. Ugh, Riley was in here right before I started messing with all this, so. Okay. Now. Before we get to my big drawer, I'll show you what's in these couple little ones, because this is like my main one. This one has ins and odds of everything. Oh look, a picture of me and my sister. Yeah, <laughs> back when I was like 10. Um, this one has a box in it. Is there even anything in this box? Who knows? Oh, can't even open it. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, anyways, bandanas, uh, controller, clippy, just little knickknacks, you know, phone covers, stuff like that. 
And then in this drawer, this is where I keep my big uh, palettes. Um, I use the Coastal Scents because not only are they good, but they're also cheap. So I have the Warm Palette, the Color Palette. I got this palette um, for Christmas a couple of years ago from Good Old Wally World. Um, I have another, I think it's Color Palette right there. And then this one is open, so and it's broke, but I love some of the colors that are in there. Anyway, so I keep it like that so the um, mirror's down there. But it's just a bunch of different little colors. Anyway, this is where I keep my palette. And then I have all of these little washcloths right here because every time I do my makeup, I wipe my brush off on these little washcloths. So I like to just keep them there. I buy these at Dollar Tree because they're so cheap and you can get some really cute ones and stuff. So I just keep those there. Those are clean. I have my little makeup sponge uh, wedges that I keep in there. And that's all for that. And then I have this little bitty stool, which is not the prettiest thing, but Dale made this little stool for me. Um, for my vanity. I really honestly need one that's like longer because my butt, ugh, it does good to sit on this. So anyways, now, what you guys have been waiting for, let me back up. I sat down, but let me back up. Pull this out a little bit. Now, this is my complete makeup collection, which is pretty sad, but maybe to some teenagers, they're like, all right, you've got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, see, he thinks so. Okay good you know pile of makeup here mm, not really but anyways probably more than some so I'm not gonna you know whine about it all right so I guess we'll start over here now I did get these little um, baskets from Dollar Tree I do really like them because like you know they can fit any way you want them in uh, your makeup drawer so I have them placed the way that I think fits um, my drawer best so in this one I have just an array of uh, eyeshadows. I was given these one year for Christmas. I can't even remember. That's the name of them if you guys are wondering. But I was given um, a bunch of these. So I keep the little eyeshadow palettes in there. I have this one which is from um, Dollar Tree. Um, I used to use the green a lot in there. But I have them kind of stuck over here on the side with those on top. And then I got these last year um, in my little makeup um, hard candy little box thing from uh, Wally World. Yeah, totally bought it myself, but they had some makeup in there, and I was like, why not? You know, it's cheap. Let's try it out. So I got this one, which is like a really white cream, and then this one, which is, um, I don't know, it's it's really pretty, but it just doesn't, doesn't go on just perfect. I don't know. It's like this really brown, um, kind of golden, coppery looking color. See, and the little lids pop off. I'm not very fond of that. So I just keep those two little ones there. I have these, which are um, LA colors, and they're just, uh, they're eyeshadow. They're just loose, which can be a good thing and can be a bad thing. So I have this little, like, golden one. I have this really light, um, like, white. I'm not even recording. <laughs> a white one. And then I have um, a really, like, coppery one right there. I have this from when I get my uh, Coastal Scents. It's fairy dust. It's just kind of like this uh, light one right here. I also have these uh, little bonbons, which when I started wearing makeup, that's what I started out with was like CoverGirl and bonbons. Um, and I just keep those back there. And then I have a couple other little palettes, which is like, you remember when they came out where like um, the little kits for like blue eyes, green eyes, that type of stuff from, um, yeah, Alme. Yeah, well, I have that one. And then I got, what did I get this one for? I got this one a while back. I don't even remember why I got this one, to be honest. Probably the colors. But anyways, I have that all over in there. Let's work in my eyeshadows. And then over here in this one, I have eyebrow pencils, which are not a lot of them. I think there's only probably about three in here, maybe. Yeah. Like right now, here's two of them. But I keep all of my um, eyeliners and my eyebrow pencils in here. And I have an array of colors and... All of that, and I really don't even use them. Um, all I use is like the black, um, and that's it. And then I also have, where is it? Here it is. My uh, liquid eyeliner, or not liquid, oh my gosh, y'all. Uh, what is this, cream? I think this is my cream. Anyways, but I have this one that I keep in there that I wear sometimes. And then down below it, I have little clippies because I'll always have hair in my face, no matter if I got a ponytail or not, so I like to clip it back. I have some uh, primer from Hard Candy. I have a pencil sharpener. I have this, which I have yet to use. I'm like kind of terrified to use this, to be honest with you. 
Um, it came in my little Christmas box as well, uh, along with this. And then, what else? This little pencil, which doesn't, like, the payoff is not very good. Oh, excuse me. But I have that, and then I also have, um, this baby skin, um, instant pore eraser, which, I mean, it's okay. It doesn't, like, do wonders for my skin, but, anyways, I try to keep all those down there because it just kind of fits perfectly. And then over in here, I have powders. I have my CoverGirl Clean, uh, Fit Me, and then, move that right there. I, I don't know, I guess this was, never mind, this is supposed to be up there, but I don't know why that's in there. But, um, I have the little, um, bronzer that came in the kit, the So Baked. Uh, I don't even know what this one is. It kind of looks like my Tiki, though. So, anyways, I have that one in there, and then I have an array of concealers. Anywhere from Maybelline, 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 Rimmel. What is this, Hard Candy? Um, I got this Hard Candy one in there. I think that's what motivated me to buy that little Christmas package, but this comes off, like, really sticky. So, I don't know about this one yet. And then, of course, the one that I'm currently using, which is just the rim roll. And then even a little cheap one, because I was out and money was tight. I had to get something. So, that's what I keep in that little basket there. And then, over here, I have my eyelash curlers, my tweezers, uh, my little scissors that I trim my brows with, and an array of mascara. This is one of the things that came in my Christmas box. I do not like it. It, like, just gets all over. Currently, I use uh, these two. Like, all of the time. So, that's what I use. But I try to keep everything over on one side, but Riley keeps getting in all my stuff. He loves makeup. I know he's a boy, but he loves it. Okay, and then over here is all of my lip products. Yeah, I have an array, and that shirt is bothering me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, over here I have an array of lip products. Um, I love to use my Revlon, what are these, lip butters? Yeah, anyways, but I love to use these. I have chapstick in here. I have lip liners. Um, lip plumper. This came in the little kit, too. Not really a big fan, to be honest with you, but more lip liners. Elf. I mean, there's not a lot in there. I mean, I could take you through and show you, but I mean, there's just like, it goes on for days, people. And I still haven't even, like, I only wear maybe a few of those out of there. I haven't even found, like, the right... Um, red lip color. I got so many of these dang reds. Oh my gosh. I hadn't even found the one that like I want. The one that I want is from MAC, but oh, I'm too cheap to spend like 16 bucks, y'all. So, anywho, I've got like 12 million of, yeah, those. Now, on to this. This is where I keep my blush. So I have a little like pressed blush down there that came in the palette that I got these um, ones in. I have my CoverGirl, which I use all the time. I have this one which came in the little um, hard candy makeup kit for Christmas along with this little um, bronzer. I already had this one before which is tiki. Yeah and this is okay but it kind of sometimes makes you look muddy so you have to be really careful um, with this. To be honest with you I know this is like for your face and stuff but during the summer when I'm wearing like a dress or um, something like that I like to spray this on my legs. Yeah, take a makeup brush like a big fluffy one, put it on your legs, makes your legs look wonderful. And then this is a cheap little concealer because like I said I was out so it's kind of like a little emergency one over there. I'm going to draw it just a little bit more. And then this is, yeah, Wet n Wild and this is, what is this, like uh a bronzer uh it's something what's it called like caramel or something i took off the little sticker but anyways i have this um and this works pretty good i mean i like it, it doesn't make you look cakey or anything like that you know jersey shorish but i do like it uh i've had this forever that i don't even use anymore i need to honestly just throw it away because you can see how it's like just ugh. but uh this is photo ready um translucent finisher can you not even talk I have this contour uh, palette, which I've been using and loving, uh, Wet n Wild. You can get this at Walmart for like literally three bucks, y'all. I really love that. And then I ordered these uh, little blush palettes um, a while back, probably last year. I think I had a vlog where they uh, came in the mail, and I was like really excited. Um, I hear Riley at the door. But anyways, they have all these different colors in them because I, I've always wore just like pink. And I was like, you know, you need to step your game up and get, you know, some different blush and all that. So I decided to get um, these little palettes, which I got off of, I believe it was Amazon, for a couple of dollars. But 
anyways, they've got some really pretty colors in there. Like this one's really pretty. Um, today I used, I think it was this palette, yeah. I used a little bit of this color, and Riley had already been dipping it in, like, that color right there. So kind of in a mixture of both of those, but it's okay. Next time I need to, like, check my blush brushes. But uh, I just keep those here in the back because they kind of fit perfectly, I guess, back there. That's really the only spot for them to fit. And the last is these lashes, which I don't really wear fake lashes. I used to, like, a couple of years ago. Um, well, no, let's see. This was, like, back when... Before I had uh, Brody, so I guess about four or five years ago, um, I used to wear lashes, and I just don't anymore. I tried one day, and it was like, what are these things on my eyes? But I put those back there. But, yeah, that's pretty much all of my makeup collection. I know that's not much, but like I said, you know, it's it's more than some, and, you know, it is plenty, because I do try to use up products, uh, you know, before I buy new products, or you'll end up like that. <laughs> yeah, and this is up here because, like I said, I use um, to wipe my brushes off when I do my makeup. But, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And I like all these little baskets. And in my drawer, I always like to put a little towel on the bottom. So if anything spills or cracks open, which sometimes it does, um, this towel will catch it. And you can just take it out and wash it. But um, I found these little bitty baskets at uh, Dollar Tree for, I think... I think these were like three for a dollar and one of them broke or something. But you can find all kinds of little... Uh, baskets to put your stuff in but that's just how I have my drawer set up now and my vanity okay so here is my um, jewelry um, chest I guess that's what you call it I'm not exactly sure I got this uh, last year at actually um, a yard sale it's got two sides that open I can get this one open. There we go. So, while we have um, the side open here, we'll go ahead and start with what's in here. Okay, so I try to keep big uh, jewelry kind of over here out of the way um, so it doesn't get all tangled up. And I'm not a very big statement jewelry person. I bought this when we were doing our pictures, which you see at the beginning of um, our vlog. I bought this to kind of accent the yellow um, that all of the boys uh, were wearing in their shirts and stuff. And, um, I don't know, I kind of like it. It's, I don't know, I mean, it kind of grows on you. But, um, it just kind of looks like that. I got this at Walmart, and I believe it was like five bucks. I don't wear anything really expensive. I should just um, say that now. <laughs> I don't wear anything just because I'm so afraid that either... Um, it'll get lost, or one of the kids will, especially like the little one, um, will pull on it and it'll get broke, and I'm just not that um, way. I don't really care how much it costs. It's just the thought. So, um, yeah, just a heads up there. But um, And then I have this that I've had for, oh my gosh, I've had this forever. I've, I've had this probably since I was like 10. I know, I keep stuff forever, y'all. Such a hoarder. I have this one that is broke that I've been meaning to get a new chain but, um, this is a little cross that Dale gave me, um, when we were first married. So, let's just hang it up there. Uh, this, what did I get this for? I got this to accent a piece, kind of like this yellow one here, for some type of picture. I can't remember which one, but I keep all of those over there out of the way. And then here on this side, these aren't really... I don't know, they're not really, like, big and extravagant, but, um, they're just kind of, I get, well, the rest of my necklaces. I used to have a lot more, but I got rid of them. I have a horseshoe for luck, um, just because I can use all the luck I can get. Um, this, I don't remember where, um, I received this little necklace, but it was probably some little cheap one. Um, but it's cute, though. And then I have my cross, which some Sundays, um, I definitely do wear. It used to hang um, around the mirror in my car, but it doesn't now. And then I have this heart necklace that Dale got me uh, one year for either a birthday or for an anniversary. I can't tell, guys. I've had so many of them. Um, this one was given to me by my mother-in-law um, back years and years ago, and I don't wear it, but I just keep it. 
Um, my mother-in-law that's deceased, by the way, so um, I just keep it. Um, it was really special to her, and she was um, giving it to me because she thought I was really special, so I just keep it in here. And then over here, I have this cute little um, necklace. It's kind of got like a little square, um, kind of like diamond, which it's totally fake, but sometimes I like to wear that. when you Just kind of like when you have a, an outfit on that's kind of already you know, uh, got so much going on, you just want just a little something, that's when I mainly wear that one. And then this little frog one, because I used to be, like, really, really into frogs. I'm uh, not too much now. I don't know, I kind of, I, I grew out of it, I guess, but I still keep it. So we'll shut that. Now, let me stand up. And then it opens up top here, which I usually keep um, just little simple stuff on so I can move it, such as a picture of me and Dale that... Uh, this was, I was pregnant with Brody and did not know, so this was about six years ago. So, yeah, very old. <laughs> we look so good, huh? And then I got this little um, jewelry hanger at uh, Dollar General, and I believe it was about ten bucks. And this was a couple of years ago, but I know they still have them because I see them like every time I go. But um, I used to have my stuff hanging on there, but now it just sits on top. So, you open this up. Oh, yeah, I know, right? A little sticker. I never can get that off. I need to take something to actually get that off. But, anywho. Alright, so, in here, I have more of my, um, I guess, safekeeping jewelry, if that makes any sense. I know you guys are like, what? Let me get out of the light here. Um, over here, let's just start right over here. I have my uh, wedding rings, obviously. So, I'll twist that one. Anyways, I have my wedding rings. Um, I have a picture, I believe it's on my, um, Instagram, Valentine's Day. Um, this was my first wedding ring, which, <laughs> you guys are like, what, you've been married? How many times? <laughs> no, I've only been married once, but when me and Dale first got married, uh, this was the ring that, um, he gave me. And, um, over the years, <laughs> we've kind of progressed into this. So, these are both my wedding sets from Dale. He gave me this ring right here as a uh, promise ring. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hearts. I don't know what it is with him and hearts. <laughs> I don't know, but he gives me like everything with hearts. Um, this, where did I get this from? Somebody gave me this. It was like a little mood ring, though. It does work, though, but I keep that in there just because I like it. Uh, this I bought when I used to be really big into getting my nails done. I would like always wear like a ring to accent whatever. as what these two are for, and well, and this one too. <laughs> what these ones are for, to be honest with you. This one's just a really big one. You put on like that. So, and I mean, these are like totally fake, but I really love the little like diamond things that are in here. I wouldn't mind having a real wooden ring like that. Mm-hmm. Totally lose it, but. <laughs> Anyways, and then uh, this little green one right here, um, I received from my um, adoptive mother. Um, when I was 10, and this is my birthstone. This, my sister-in-law uh, gave me. Um, she was going through a really bad breakup, and she gave me that. I guess she didn't want to see it thrown away, so she was like, here, you have it. So, anyways, and then over here, I have a little bracelet um, that I made. It was like a little cuff, and the same thing right here. And then these are all little, um, well, this is a bracelet, but these are little anklets that sometimes I wear during the summer. I don't know. I just like them. And I believe I got these at Walmart for a dollar. Yep, one dollar. So yeah, I like those just different colors. These are my bangles. Oh yeah, my bangles. <laughs> I like to wear these sometimes to church um, during like summer and spring and stuff like that. Or spring and summer anyways. Um, but they kind of make a lot of noise, so I don't wear a lot of them. But I keep those up there. This is a watch. Uh, my sister got to me, and I really got to get a battery for it, but it's got like little, little diamonds all around it. It's really cute. Put that over there. And then this um, is a bracelet that Dale actually made me. He made all of the children their own, and then he made me one, but I don't wear it because it is so heavy. Because he, he, he welds, so um, yeah, he made these one day. It's really nice, though. I mean, the detail's really nice. Um, here is a watch that I've had forever, because <laughs> I keep stuff, I hoard stuff, y'all, I know, got a problem. 
Um, just little like ins and odds, the little cheap bracelets and stuff. This um, bracelet is actually, um, it was my mother-in-law's and when she passed away, um, her boyfriend sent us things and this is one of them. She was really into butterflies, just like me, so I keep that in there for safe keepings. This little necklace, no, this is a bracelet, yeah, this is a little bracelet. I don't know if I've had this forever. I used to wear with um, this watch. <laughs> I don't know. Back when I was styling. What is in this box? Oh, yeah. This is Dale's first <laughs> wedding ring. This used to be his dad's um, wedding ring when he was married to his mother. And, um, yeah, he passed it down to Dale. So that was his first wedding ring that went with my first wedding ring. Put all this stuff back over here. Well, gotta get it just so. Because if I don't, the lid won't shut. <laughs> I think, that's, I think that's good. That's all that's in there. My safekeeping. And see if the lid won't shut. I'll have to go back in a minute and do that. Okay. In this drawer, I have a bunch of ins and odds of stuff. More little cuffs that I have made that I never even wear. I used to be really into making cuffs. Yeah. A little key. A little jewelry bag. A little uh, box that a ring came in. This is hard to do, y'all. Hold a camera and go over my stuff. Lotion. And then two more cuffs right there. That's all that's in that one. Now this drawer is actually pretty organized. <laughs> I keep all of my body piercings, um, little stuff in here. I know you're like, what? I have my belly button rings down there, my lip ring um, right there. And then these were for uh, my nose. So I keep all of those right there. I keep all of my like hook earrings, kind of like they look like this, um, in this um, little area right here, which I don't know why these two are over there. I think Riley's been in here messing them, but all of my little hook earrings um, I keep in here. I have some where I was going to show you these really cute ones I got. Here they are. I love these. I bought these for five dollars when we had our little small town. Um, what is it? Little, kind of like a parade each year, but they have little booths set up. Anyways, I bought those. I love those. Um, in here is more of like the little. Well, those aren't supposed to be there. Hold on. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, I have more of like like little pearls, little little beads, kind of like that. So I have all types of those in there. I have all of the little like. Uh, diamond ones, which these are totally fake. Remember, <laughs> remember guys, I don't wear a bunch of real stuff, but all of my like little, uh, diamond ones anyways, because I have big ones and little ones because sometimes I like to wear them in the top part of my ear. And then sometimes I like to double them up where I'll have like a big one, a medium, and then a small, and then a really small. And then here's some more little hoop earrings. What is that in there? Anyways, here's more little knickknacks, you know, more... Um, not hoop, um, hook. That's what they are. These are my toe rings because sometimes during the summer when I'm rocking a really cool manicure or pedicure, I like to have toe rings. And then pull out, these are ends and odds of things like, um, like this right here. I know, very close up. Like if, um, I need to put this on a necklace. I used to have this on some pearls, um, but anywho, if I need, like if a necklace is broke or if I got just a, um, a plain one, I like to switch them up, so just like little ends and odds of things. These are just like, I don't know, little ends and odds, little teeny tiny hoops. And then over here are more of my statement earrings. See? Oh yeah, look at that baby. Yeah. I got ones like that. <laughs> my statement ones. And then I have ones like this, which I really, really love. I got a whole package of these. So, sometimes I'll take, like, the big one, and then I'll go with, like, the medium and the small and stuff like that. So, that's where those stay. And then in this drawer, I know, total mess. And you're like, kisses, what's that? Dale bought me this. Um, when did he buy me this? What was this? I think this was Valentine's Day. Yeah, but anyways, I have yet to wear it. But he bought me that, so. I just keep it in there, because until I get ready to wear it, I don't want to take it out of the cute little box. Here's all of my hoops, and yeah, big earrings like you see. 
I don't know, I keep all of, like the hoops in there. It's just easier. And then some of them like that. Like I've had these forever. I don't even wear these. So it's got the sticker on there. 16 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. This I've had um, forever since I was like five, actually. I keep that. These um, I used to have when I used to have a pair anyways, like this when I was um, 10. I know everything's like when I was 10. Um, anyways, somebody um, robbed us like we were broke our little um, camper trail that we were in at the time were um, let me start over <laughs> we were staying in a camping trailer on a trip and uh, while we were away one day actually it was a couple days I mean it was we arrived back and somebody had broke in and they had stole like my CD player all my little jewelry even though it was cheap but um, these are some of the earrings that were in there and my um, foster mother was able to find them again and she bought them for me but it was like years later I was like way too old to be wearing these so I just keep them uh, this I've had for ages it says Monica you guys can see so I keep that in there and I have really weird earrings which remind me of like seashells <laughs> I don't know sometimes I, I get these like weird moods to buy stuff you know just yeah, a bunch of hoops and stuff, guys. Yeah. Anyways, and then down here, I know you guys are like, what the heck is that? Um, these were my mother-in-law's, and this is something that her boyfriend had sent, um, like I said, when she passed away, along with this. And I really keep um, this stuff in here mainly because, you know, Dale, he's not really sure what to do with it. And to me, I mean, I'm not going to wear um, this stuff, you know. I don't know. I just, I, 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 it's not that I don't want to. I just, I don't know. I'm not going to wear these beads. I mean, she traveled a lot, so, you know, I'm sure at the time she thought these were really beautiful, but to me, you know, I mean, I don't know where I would wear these at, to be honest with you. But I have these little um, safety pin things down there. A uh, pill box <laughs> that I used to keep my vitamins in when I traveled. I have a, um, the Gospel of John. And I have a um, letter down there that we won't look at. But as far as my jewelry collection, it is all housed in there. Okay, guys, that is it. I know it was not big and extravagant, and I don't have rows and rows and shelves and dressers and, you know, all of that full of makeup, but that is plenty. Of course, I would like new little products, as any woman's going to want makeup, but... Um, for right now, that suits me just fine. My collection, I'm sure, will grow um, even more over the years. But um, that is it. I didn't have really anything that was um, expensive. It's just mainly products that I buy to try. Um, sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. And sometimes I just get thrown in another drawer because I'm like, I cannot even deal with you right now. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my little makeup slash vanity um, collection. And uh, leave me your comments below and... I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.